Welcome to the Techie Tessie channel. My name is Tess and today I'm going to be teaching you about GitHub Copilot. Before we get started with today's video, I know it's been a hot minute since I've done a proper tutorial with you guys and that's because I've been busy interning at JP Morgan. If you want to find out more, check out our internship playlist. GitHub Copilot is an AI programmer that offers autocomplete style suggestions as you code. So basically it's perfect for us introverts who want to pair program but not with people. So today I'll be showing you how to download and use GitHub Copilot. Let's get started. In this tutorial the IDE I will be using is Visual Studio as that is what I use both for work and for university. In order to download and use GitHub Copilot using Visual Studio, you need to have Visual Studio 2022. And this is noteworthy since I, when I tried this, I couldn't figure out how the next steps weren't working, but it was because the most recent version I had was Visual Studio 2019. So to check what version of Visual Studio you have, head to the Visual Studio installer and your versions will be listed here. And if you don't already have it, you can download and install community version 2022. Once you have Visual Studio 2022, open it and create a new blank file or project. Go to extensions, manage extensions, and in the search bar here, search for GitHub Copilot. You'll have the option to download it. So click download. And then you're going to want to close Visual Studio and relaunch it again. Once the download is complete, open up a new file and wait for this pop-up. The pop-up explains that a device activation code will need to be pasted into a GitHub page, which is automatically opened up for you. Paste in the code and complete the authorization. Now it's time to start coding. Open up a file. In this case, I've created a Python file. I'm going to create a main method. And let's also write a doc string, which is a type of comment to describe what this program is going to do. So let's say I want to write a program to scrape websites for B, for B data. And won't you look at that? GitHub Copilot has already given me some ideas of where to start. So if we press tab, the code's already been written for us. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like, subscribe and keep the code coming. I'll see you next time.